Top 10 Data Center Manager Interview Questions and Answers Wouldn't it be great if you could know what the interviewer was going to ask you? Or just have a general idea of exactly what it is they're looking for? While it isn't yet possible to read minds, there does seem to be a set list of common questions that are asked in Data Center Manager Interviews. 1. What is a data center according to you? By definition a typical data center is a group of networked computer servers that are used by organizations for things such as remote storage, processing or distribution of large amounts of data. A lot of people have different ideas of what is and isn't a data center. So keep an open mind and make sure you do a large amount of research as to what data center type the company you're being interviewed for might be. Focus on finding out the amount of servers and VM hosts you're dealing with and then base your description around that. 2. What are data center pages and cabinets? Cage and cabinets are places in shared room environments that customers can use to house servers, storage or communication equipment. Whether a customer has a cage or a cabinet depends on the size of the data that they need to store. Typically a cage is a movable wall which is placed on top of raised flooring. The cage blocks off different sections for each customer and can be adjusted to fit the needs of each customer. Cabinets refer to customers buying lockable individual racks to house their data. These cabinets come in three size options of a one-third, half or a full cabinet and are usually purchased by larger retail co-location customers. 3. What is your daily routine as a data center manager? Every manager has a different style of doing things, however, some key activities need to be undertaken as part of their everyday job. As the data center manager, your main responsibility is to make sure that all daily operations are running smoothly. Most mornings start with checking performance indicators and metrics. Afterwards moving on to, to check the statuses of dashboards and shift change reports so that any issues with the team can be noted and dealt with. Once the status of the team is confirmed and all problems are solved the manager will normally continue on to checking in with various departments and team leads, discussing any problems or jobs that need tackling. Once all the initial morning tasks are completed the data center manager will spend a good proportion of their day in meetings before walking around the facility making checklists for teams on things that need addressing and taking the opportunity to have quick stand-up talks with employees ensuring that they have the opportunity to inform you of any concerns or problems. Afternoons will then generally be spent in one-to-one -one meetings and emails before handing the shift over for the evening. 4. Explain how do you plan before data center migration activity took place. Data center migrations are possibly the riskiest operation that could happen within the company. With risks of lost data and excessive downtime, it is essential that the process runs smoothly which is where executives look to you the data center manager. To ensure that the complex process goes smoothly it is essential that you plan as much as possible. Before attempting the migration you should assess the current infrastructure, this involves updating the center's configuration management database, this information gives you enough visibility to be able to tell what any challenges could be. Once all information about the current data center is collected, it's time to design and estimate what to move and when the best times are to move them before building and migrating the infrastructure successfully. 5. How do you arrange your staff roster to ensure there is coverage 24-7? A 24-7 roster is a slow rotating shift pattern which generally used by having a total of four teams that all rotate with each other in three eight-hour shifts. The four teams all rotate with each other every 28 days, ensuring that there is constant 24-7 coverage of the data center. When arranging each team into a rota pattern it is important to ensure that there is the right team with the skills needed to keep the center running making sure that there is an equal number of security guards, technicians, and labors, and so on to ensure that the teams created are effective. As the data center manager, you should also get to understand your employees so that you understand what employee would be most effective where. 6. There is a system breach on your organization data management system. How will you handle the situation as a data center manager? System breaches are always planned for and well protected against, However it isn't always possible to stop everything from getting through, with hackers constantly developing viruses that are harder to stop it is important that you are well acquainted with the process that you should follow after a system breach. It is first important to ensure that the breach is stopped as soon as it's noticed. The way that the breach is stopped is completely dependent on the nature of the attack in which systems have been affected by it. But isolating the systems accessed and disconnecting breached user accounts can help. 
Once the attack has been eliminated you should then assess the damage before notifying everyone that had been affected. After the team is dealing with recovering possible lost data, you need to make sure you update your recovery plan with the information of the attack and how it happened so that your team can protect data against any similar attacks in the future. 7. Data center managers need to be updated with the latest trends in data center technology, how will you ensure you're up to date? As the leading team member of the data center, everyone will be expecting you to have updated knowledge so that you can keep the center performing and improving with modern trends. With new trends and data center methods constantly appearing it is essential that you find an effective method of keeping up. A few way of staying updated include dedicating an hour of your working week to reading new research or news articles about your industry, talking to other data center managers to see how they are tackling current issues, or taking a course in a new software that has just emerged so that you are able to advise other members of your team. Just staying in communication with your working community is a good idea, but whatever method works for you is best. 8. There has been an insubordination which has led to a breach of a client personal information. Explain how you will handle the issue as a data center manager. A breach affecting a client's personal information is the worst possible kind as a long list of problems can occur for both you and the client. It is important to first deal with the breach following the normal process of stopping it, assessing the damage and then updating the recovery plan for the future. However, as it is personal information that the hacker has acquired it is important that after notifying everyone affected that you file a report with the Federal Trade Commission as the leaked information could potentially lead to identity theft. Make sure that you also inform the local police and your company heads so that an investigation can take place. After following the procedure keep working with the client and inform your team on how to prevent any future cases from happening. 9. How would you ensure that the company is compliant with all laws and regulations? Making sure that the company is compliant with all the laws and regulations set by law is important to ensure that the company is operating safely and isn't at risk of any lawsuits for negligent acts. Let the interviewer know about any knowledge of relevant laws and regulations and emphasize the importance of following them. As a data center manager you could be sued for not managing the data in a secure way or having an unsafe work environment so make sure to mention a procedure that you would follow for making sure that the company stays compliant, such as updating any company policies with recent law and regulation changes, informing employees on the rules and what will happen if they don't comply. 10. Explain what you understand about data center colocation and cloud-based services such as IAAS. Co-location is a specific type of data center facility in which businesses can rent space for their data. A co-location usually provides the building, cooling, power, and security while the customer provides the servers and storage to go in the space. Some customers use the servers to run cloud-based services such as IaaS which is a virtualized computing resource that is provided over the internet. Do plenty of research to find out if the company you're interviewing with provides this kind of service.